What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you. Today we're gonna to take a look at what I have for my editing desk as a setup uh, for early 2021. I don't imagine this will change too much throughout the year, but I am moving in about four or five months, depending on certain things, but um, so that will make some changes, but I believe the desk and the core setup will stay the same. So let's jump into this. I'll go over everything that's here. Uh, as you guys know, with every desk setup, there'll be links down in the description below. So anything that I talk about, there'll be a, a link down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. So uh, let's jump right into this. All right, so let's start on the right side of the desk. And as you can see, I have my speakers right here. These are the uh, Edifier R1280TS. I recently got these in, I think a few weeks ago, and I hooked them up right away, but what I had on there before was just the R1280T, not the S, um, which I, I did a review on those a few years back, actually, so it's been a little while. So, and what these bring to the table is you have an output on the back so you can use a subwoofer, but it's got front base reflex port, wireless remote, which I have up here, uh, which is very handy to use and to have. Um, 42 watt total power, um, and they're like a hundred bucks. So, I mean, they're just really, really nice. Um, you get some studio quality sound. These are obviously on the lower end of normal bookshelf type speakers, monitors, but I like these a lot. I've been, like I said, I've been using the other model for years and I'm using the newest ones and liking them as much or more than the other ones. If you want to get more of that, you know, studio monitor feel, you can take the grills off the front. Um, I think either way looks good. Along the side, you got a volume knob, a bass knob, and a treble knob, so you can adjust all that uh, individually. Uh, and then, like I said, along the back, you got a line in and a line in one and a line in two, so you can have two different line ins to this. Uh, there's an on off power switch and then of course the uh, left speaker output, all that is on the back of the right. So, but it comes with like all the cables that you need. Um, like I said, remote, the RCA to RCA audio cable, uh, 3.5 to RCA cable and speaker wire. So you get these, you're good to go. This is something new. Um, if you follow me on social media, you see that I've been since January sort of on a health kick and really trying to step up my game. I've written some blog posts about it, podcasted about it, but this is something that I'm trying out now. Uh, this company was nice enough to send us out. This is the Upright, uh, the go-to, and it's a personal posture trainer, which is something that you really don't think about too often. Uh, when you think about your health, but I've been thinking about it actually a lot. I slouch a lot. I'm six foot three and I find myself hunched over a lot. And I've been trying to do my best to, especially when I'm sitting at a desk or doing things to try to keep my posture up um, to help with my back and things like that. This sort of gives you some gentle reminders. This will actually track your posture uh, throughout the day. Um, and then you can also do like a training mode where for like eight minutes a day, when I turn it on, it's like eight minutes. Uh, you put it, it sits in between like your shoulder blades, depending, like I use this necklace uh, accessory. They sent this out as well, which just plugs into the USB type C connector on the unit. Um, if you don't get the necklace, it comes with like sticky, uh, removable sticky tabs that you put on the back and you, you just stick it to your skin. Um, but then you do the, uh, the training for a little while and then you can switch it to uh, tracking. And there's an app uh, and it's, like I said, it's really, really cool. They claim that you're gonna like feel a difference in like two weeks. Um, so I've only had it for four or five days now. I got it in late last week. So I I'm enjoying it so far. Like I said, all it does is just, I use the necklace, sits on my, on my back. And then, you know, I, it gets you to the point where you know that you're slouching, right? So like when you're, like I can feel it, like as soon as I bend over or like I hunch over, like I know I'm starting to hunch. And then it gives you, if you're looking at the app, it gives you a little countdown, then gives you a little buzz just to remind you like, hey stupid, like sit up straight. You know what I mean? It's like your mom, like sit up straight, sit up straight at the table, you know? So, but I'm really enjoying that. It's just another like feature, another piece of tech that I'm using on like my health journey. So that's what that is. That is the, um, the upright go to. We have this little stand. Uh, this is my MacBook Pro. This is the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, I was lucky enough to get this 
about maybe not even a month ago. Sold a couple of my old computers, uh, had some tax returns that came in, so I was able to upgrade my computer. I hadn't upgraded my computer. My wife had a my old 15-inch MacBook Pro laptop, which I can't remember what year that was. I think in 2016, whatever the first touch bar was. And then I was using my iMac from early 2015. It was like the first 5K iMac. So they were, they were both in rough shape. So I was able to upgrade. Um, I feel like, you know, part of me was like, oh, should I wait for the M1X or whatever? But it's like, this thing blows away the computers that I've been using. You can see any review and it talks about it blows away a ton of computers, but you're talking about computers that I were using, I was using five or six years old. So it's fantastic, I love it. I got the 16 gig uh, storage and the one, uh, 16 gig RAM and one terabyte storage. That's the unit I got. I'll leave a link for the one that I got below so you can see all the specs, but it, it's fantastic. It doesn't hiccup, I mean, it's just, my old one, I even, I had trouble with Lightroom, I had trouble with Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, like everything was like chugging, you know? It was like, it was slow. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, on there, I have, I have a leather case from Andar. I did a review on a couple cases for Andar recently, um, and it was the, I'll leave a link for the video down below but it was the case for my iPhone and then a case for my wife's iPad Air. They reached out, I said in that video, I'm like, man, if they have, you know, whatever I wanted, blah, 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 because like the smell of the leather was amazing when I unboxed it. And that is what that is. It's a blue leather. Um, I specifically asked for the blue leather and it's amazing. Um, I also got this, which is the AirPods Pro case from Andar, and it again is just as amazing. Yeah, so it's awesome. Uh, I'm loving both of those. You'll see those again when we get to the other side of the desk. Um, but then this little stand here, this is just something I got off Amazon. It's an aluminum stand, but it's actually flexible. Um, like I think there's some other ones that like 12 South I think has one, but you can't have a case on it. And I knew once I had this case on there that it was gonna stay for a while. Um, so I needed something that was flexible. So if I don't have a case, this stand will work. If I do have a case, it, it also works. So it's great. Um, I just have one USB type C cable going into it. So that brings us to like the centerpiece of the desk. And that is the Samsung 34 inch monitor. I don't even know the model number. I'll leave a link for it down below, but it's old. I don't even, yeah, you can get it now, but it's really not worth it for if you paid full price for it. I did not pay full price. I was at Best Buy and uh, happened to be walking around uh, and saw that they had this as an open box. I was in the market for a new monitor because of my new computer. I wanted something larger for when I was sitting at a desk to edit. And I walked by this and they had this for like 300, $320, I can't remember, but right around 300 bucks, a little bit more than 300 bucks. And I looked it up on Amazon and looked it up at a few different places. And because Best Buy, when I looked it up there, they didn't even have it in their, like it wasn't even on their store site. This is regular like 700 or 800 bucks. It's got a Thunderbolt connection in the back. So my MacBook Pro is connected to the back of this monitor and is charging my, my MacBook Pro as well as giving me display and audio. And it, it's just fantastic. I had it on a mount at one time, but I didn't really like the mount. I, I think I'm gonna look for something different, but I may wait till we move and then mount it to the wall. Um, so I can get it up a little bit off the desk and then move it around that way. Um, but this is, it's beautiful. I mean, it's silver, the back of it's white, uh, but there's there's uh, two USB-A ports in the back and audio. So I have the speakers running to this. I have a SD card reader Velcro to the back of the monitor so you don't actually see it. Uh, and that's plugged into the monitor. Uh, and then, like I said, I have the, uh, USB type C Thunderbolt cable going to the back, giving me power for my laptop. So the only thing that was wrong with it, like I, I told them when I bought it, I'm like, if, the, if I open this up and it's jack, can I bring it back? And they're like, yeah, of course. But the only thing is there's that one dead pixel under here where it says finder. You can see it every once in a while, depending on what you have in the screen, but it is, <laughs> it's one dead pixel. And I believe this, it was essentially almost like four or $500 off. So I'm cool with that. It's got a nice like cable management. You can run the cables down 
inside of the bra the uh, the neck of the stand. So it, it's just really, really nice, and especially for the price. In front of that, we have the Apple Black Magic keyboard with number pad. I don't even know what they call it, but I've had this for a while. MX Master 3 uh, from Logitech. That's amazing. This is the Mac version, which really there's absolutely no difference except two things. The color, you get more of this like gunmetal looking color, like a lighter accent color, and then it does not come with the unifying dongle. Other than that, it's the same exact MX Master 3. So, and then like sort of behind it here, um, this, obviously these are my AirPods Pro that we talked about with the um, Andar leather case on it. So this is the Nomad Base Station Pro. This will charge like three devices at one time. Um, so, I mean, I'll put like, usually it's not up here right now, but I'll usually put my iPhone 12 Pro Max on here maybe my AirPods in the middle, and then my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on there as well. And it charges all three at one time, no problem. That's amazing. They actually sell a add-on on the back. Uh, when Nomad, Nomad sent this out to me, and when they sent it out, I don't think they had the Apple Watch accessory for it yet, but you can put an Apple Watch accessory on the back to have your Apple Watch on it. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Like it, It's expensive to be able to charge, someone like myself with so many devices, or like I think if I don't keep this on my desk, um, depending on how my new setup's gonna be at the new place. This may go like in the kitchen or in the hallway or something where we can charge three different phones at one time, like overnight, um, but I love it. Uh, big shout out to my man Chuck over at Nomad, always hooking me up, and that is amazing. So, yeah. This is, these are the MPOW X6s. These I'm checking out. I've had these for about a week and I've been using them. Um, they have wireless charging, so I can put them on the Base Station Pro and they'll charge this way. Um, just so you know, the Base Station Pro has three LEDs along the front to let you know which zone is being used. So there's one, two, and three. Um, but I've tried these out. They're not fantastic, um, but they are very, very affordable and they have some great qualities. So they have active noise canceling, Wireless charging, like I said. Uh, you have left and right mono, so you can use one or the other. Has a transparency mode, and then it's super low latency, so you can listen to you know, YouTube videos or watch movies or whatever and not have anything crazy. It's Bluetooth, they're Bluetooth 4.5, uh, two hour charging time, and then music and talk time, you're gonna get five hours earbuds and then 20 hours in the case with active noise canceling off and then four hours and 16 hours res respectively with uh, active noise canceling on. They're very inexpensive, so I'll leave a link for them down below. So back on this side, I just have this little, uh, I found this at uh, Target, um, but this is just an hourglass, but I think it's dope with the black sand and the whole look of it. Um, I had a different like lamp up here um, but then I bought this lamp that we're gonna get to over here and I got rid of that lamp. It was a cool like spiral LED thing. Uh, I'm a big fan of the hourglass. You have the other Edifier speaker, obviously over here. My uh, switch light up here. Um, my wife and I and the kids always playing some Splatoon. Uh, I always get my butt kicked because they play all the time and level up. I'm like a five and they just beat me down. So they enjoy that. Uh, my iPad Pro 2020 12.9 with the Apple Pencil right here. Use this all the time, like all the, all the time. Uh, writing notes. I'm using this uh, when it's sitting on my desk like this, I jot down quick notes, just, you know, different things. If I'm making an edit and I want to remember something, I'll write it down real quick. Uh, and then the other thing that I do on this desk is game. So this lamp here, again, I got this from Target. It is just like a normal, it's just a lamp, but it has a, you know, a couple shelves on it. And it fits perfect the Xbox Series X that I have up top here. I have the um, Xbox Elite controller that I use, the Pro, uh, the version two down there charging. I have the Xbox controller that came with it in case I want to play some uh, 2K21 and stomp on the kids. 
Uh, they beat me in Splatoon, I beat them in 2K. That's, I mean, that seems about right. So these are the, uh, I use the Astro A40s. They have the, uh, like the controller, the Mix Pro down there, so you can adjust the volume or whatever. They're wired. Uh, I like wireless, but I had the A50s before, and I seem to always have an issue with the wireless, so I just figured I'd get the A40s this time around. So I got a Philips Hue bulb in it to uh, you know change the mood a little bit. Not real happy with the Philips Hue bulbs. They're only 800 lumens. I have another, um, another set that I'm gonna be trying that are 900 lumens coming soon, so we'll see. But that is something I should have mentioned about the monitor, is that it does have multiple inputs. There's DisplayPort, HDMI 2.0, uh, and then the Thunderbolt. So I have HDMI, I have the uh, HDMI port going to the Xbox Series X, Thunderbolt to that, and then I still have a display port if there's something else I wanted to connect. You can do like picture in picture, you can do side by side picture, all kinds of crap you can do with it. Nothing I really take advantage of. I just, I either, either play Xbox or edit videos or work on my computer. This, the desk is just a top from Ikea. Uh, I think it was like 70 bucks. I used to have like um, one that I made, it was like a butcher block and it was huge, super, super heavy. I ended up selling that uh, and that paid for quite a bit of stuff because it was pretty expensive. Um, but, so it's just like a, you know, it's like a laminate stuff on top of wood. Uh, I like it's like gray and got a little bit of a grain to it or whatever, or like a concrete look. Um, but this is an up, you know, this is a, an up down desk. I've had this for years. I did a, when I was vlogging every day, I did a vlog, I think, building this. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was after, I can't remember. But I bought the frame and everything off Amazon and the, like I said, the tabletop I just got um, from Ikea. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, you guys got any questions about anything? Hit me down in the comment section below, but uh, yeah, this is what it is. I'll probably maybe do an updated version of the desk tour when I move into the new place, but that's gonna be about it. Like I said, any questions, leave it down below. All the links for everything will be down in the comment section. Just so you guys know, I've started a podcast. It's sort of on my own. Um, and there will be different style videos coming to this channel because I'm getting a lot more into uh, things beyond tech. So like productivity, health, um, health and fitness a little bit. Um, just faith, just there's a lot of stuff and you can check out my website and it sort of give you a better explanation. I've also started doing a weekly blog, podcast, you can find it. By the time this goes up, you should find it everywhere. Uh, right now it's on Spotify and I'm using Anchor, so it's on there as well, but all that's on the website. Should be on Apple and Google by the time, hopefully by the time this goes up, if all goes well. But the name of the podcast is The Work in Progress Project. Again, links for that will be down below as well, so you guys check that out, let me know what you think. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one.